Hey you guys, this is Jolly Gunner. Um, sorry about the background noise, but my AC broke, so I have to have my fan on or else it gets really hot in my room. So anyways, today I have the review of The Walking Dead, issue number 76. And I can honestly say, this has probably been the best Walking Dead issue I have read in a long time. It's filled a lot of holes, it's basically getting into more into the, the drama and stress that the whole group is going through, moving into the new town and such. And it's basically talking about what just happened in issue number 75 with Rick and Pete. Now, I'm going to give you a little recap of what happened in the last issue. Um, there was this man, this man in the town called Pete, and he's the town's doctor. Um, Rick finds out that Pete has been beating his wife and kid. Now, he's not happy with that, so he tries to take things in his own hand. And goes, basically, he goes to Pete's house, and they each beat the living crap out of each other. They go, and they fly through grass, and... Pete grabs his face and, like, basically destroys Rick's face. Um, so that's when here you have Dale pulls out a gun and aims it at, at Rick and basically threatens his life, which is something I was extremely surprised. I was very happy with it because, you know, it actually shows that Dale is worth, is, like, you know, he'll take extreme measures, and you never really knew that from Dale. Everybody saw him more of a pushover. At least I always did. But you learn things in this issue that make him not look like a pushover. Basically, here we go. I'll give you a quick overview on what happened. Anyways, it opens up where the last issue left off. You have um, Rick laying on the floor because Mashoni hit him in the back of the head with a rock. As you can see there. And basically, he asks her why she did that, and she tells him, "You really have to ask me why, because it's pretty obvious that he took things way out of proportion." Then you realize he looks around, the entire town is completely stunned at what about he, what he just did. There you have it. And then you have Pete and Jill right there. That's, his, that's Pete's wife. That's Pete and there you got Rick and everyone. He basically realized that he just took things way out of hand and he deserves to be punished for it. Or though he sinks. So in the next scene, here you have um, the two... I just had, I, I can't remember from, I can't really remember their name. Riding out, escaping the town. As you remember, there was this gang of, this group right here, who sacrificed their own just so that they can escape. So they run away, they got their medical supplies, the medical supplies that they needed. And they're like, wait, did you hear that? And it sounds like motorcycles. So basically, I'm assuming that by just this scene, because this is a very unnecessary scene, I'm assuming that what they're trying to imply is that these three, these, this group is going to follow them. And not, they're not the best group of people. So I don't know what's going to happen with them, but it's not going to be good. And there's also something else going on in this issue, which might show that, they, that, these, um, that these men and the people who are going to go out, which I'll talk about it soon, are probably going to have an encounter. So anyways, um, here you have um, Mashoni talking to talking to her about um, keeping the kids for the night, um, kids for the night, because Pete, basically, Rick is basically, is, um, I'm sorry, about keeping Pete's son, um, for the night, and basically because Pete's going crazy, they just want to try to fix things up. So then, um, you go back to see Pete in the hospital, and there's his wife, Jill, um, um, basically the doctor's asking him, why on earth would Rick want to go inside his house, beat the living crap out of him, and then not kill him, you know, after having an opportunity not kill him. So basically people are trying to question him, question on why the hell would he want to do that, which is pretty obvious now that something bad is going to happen to him. So then here you have Dale walking into um, Rick's room, and basically he's questioning Rick, what am I going to do with you? And Rick is basically just speechless because he knows that he did not do the right thing. Being the leader and all, he knows he didn't do it. He didn't know what he had to. This is when a huge scene that happens with Dale, which completely made this issue for me. Dale tells Rick the story about how he had to get rid of one of the old group members that Rick never knew. His name was Alexander Davidson. Alexander Davidson was a person who, alongside Dale, founded that town and created the wall. But what happened was that he did not, that man did not have good intentions. He ended up raping well, not, not technically raping them, but making their job to have sex with him. Or else he would, you know, kick him out of the town. And when Dale found that out, he took it upon himself to, after the wall was finished, 
he kicked things out. He kicked the guy, the man, out of his, out of the town, and basically murdered him. So basically, I guess what he's trying to tell Rick is that if he keeps on, and that's when he tells Rick actually, that if things like that happen again, he he will murder him, and which is why he says right here, he's like, "Don't make me murder you too." So after that being said, um, he basically leaves, and that's when Rick tells him, "Wait up, there's something I need to tell you now." Rick tells him a story about um, his uncle and how when they were, his uncle was basically the group leader back in the days. And he eventually, um, most of you know the story because it was on the passage, and, and there's some issues very long ago. So he tells a story about his uncle and how after Rick was in the hospital, he imagined that his uncle, um, his uncle wanted basically to take all, the entire group out of Atlanta because supposedly he had an idea that there was going to be some, that they were going to be help there. So now, he had his reasons to do so, but they were still very, very risky. And which is why he did not want to go through with it. So basically something happens and he goes to the hospital and they go on without him. Which is when he, he and he stays and him and his son say, um, him and Carl stay back. But that's when he realizes that for sure his wife and, and his uncle probably had an affair. His uncle, I don't know why they really, I'm not really sure whether or not it was his uncle. But because he, he mentioned that he was his best friend, I don't know if they were just really close. So... He's selling this to Dale, and Dale said, "You killed your best friend too." And then that's when, because basically he saw he saw something in the story, and he's like, "So yeah, you know, obviously it didn't work out in his favor." He's that's what he tells Dale. So then Dale assumes that he killed him also, and that's when Rick says, "No, my son did it." So here we go. We go back to the out to the outskirts. Um, we have a security guard by the gate. I'm sorry that. I don't really remember their names because I kind of jumped in on issue 74 because I haven't read this for a while. I saw 70, 75 as an opportunity when I went to go pick it up. I also had 74 there, so I picked it up also. So I'm sorry if I don't really remember these, if I don't know these people's names or don't remember them. I'm pretty sure they are some new characters. So you have um, these two, and they're talking about going out of the out of the gates to pick some supplies up at a lighthouse or a building out, out outside of the skirts. Now. And they were, they were thinking about doing it later on that night. Now, this is what I meant when we saw back in this page. I can find it for you guys. Yes, here, this page. Of these, of the group of people that ended up killing on their own team member. So, I'm assuming that there's going to be an encounter between them and the people here. I don't know. It's just an assumption. We'll find out in, in two weeks, so... And you have them there, and then they, they basically, they're, they're talking about, um, she actually, she actually questions, you know, Rick's actual motives. She's saying, what if he really did this to be good? And that's when he says, well, I sure, I, I don't know Rick that well, but I'm pretty sure he, he did it, he did it for the good, for a good thing. Now, this part isn't really that important, besides the fact that, um, Rick goes to talk to his son, and basically his son has nothing to do with him. His son doesn't know about what happened with um, him and Pete. So then you find out um, Jesse, which is oh I'm sorry, her name was Jesse, was who was Pete's son, leaves him, and so Pete is forced to move away. Then you have the two people coming into the town after picking up the supplies and such. And then after talking to Carl, he tells he goes back to talk to Dale, and Dale tells him I don't know whether or not I should give you your gun back. Then he realizes that the whole time Dale had the Rick had the opportunity in killing Pete. He had the opportunity, but he never did it. The only time he pulled his gun was when Dale himself pulled it out, and he still knew that he had no intention of killing anybody. So he leaves the city, he leaves them, and he meets up with Michonne, and Michonne is basically telling him, "Look, don't talk to me until you get your shit together." Rick goes back home, takes a nap, and then he calls his wife and tells his wife the whole story about what happened with Pete. And in doing so, he doesn't notice, but Carl was listening into it the entire time. And there you have it, that. So basically, you guys, this was an outstanding issue. I never knew all this about Dale until then, which is, after reading, I figured out what the cover was, you know, he having his blood on his hands. So yeah, great issue. If you guys have the opportunity, pick this up, or just wait for the trade, because I know a lot of people buy trades for Walking Dead.
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, 